beautiful people welcome once again to H and clothings and in today's video we're going to learn how to make this beautiful gown here yes this gown is it could be for brides evening gown reception gown I just wanted to show you that it's not as hard as you think and it's quite easy to make these things so this gown is going to be featuring a cutout on the waistline you know where you have that kind of bare skin effect okay and it's also going to feature two at the bottom of the gown looking so beautiful looking so classic and bougie it's also going to feature circle skirts pencil dress spaghetti straps everything that you it's all, all encompassing okay so if you want to see how this gown was made please thank you for watching also guys thank you so much we've hit 15k now we're still growing strong thank you for the likes for the comments for the subscription thank you so much please do not relent okay you know you get value on here so do not relent to keep supporting in whichever way you can share my videos let us family grow let us grow and yes thank you for those that have contacted to enroll in our one-on-one -on -one online class okay so if you're interested and you want your sewing game to change in this year please send a message to the whatsapp number in the description box below so that we can kick off from there very detailed i must say very detailed okay without much rambling let us get right into today's video so for this video i have my dress pattern my basic bodice pattern to dress length okay i have the fabric i'll be using it's like a geometric print fabric um yeah i also have the fabric i'll be using for the circle skirt for the lining this is doll face satin it's just satin where um, one side shines more than the other that's what I'll be using for the lining and for the bottom of the circle skirt before doing the design on this material I have two surprisingly two of course and I have about 10 yards of two here okay so yes brace yourself up for this ride it's going to be smooth anyway but just brace yourself up and yeah let us get right into this video so guys the first thing we're going to do is we are going to prepare the bodice pattern for the princess style and the upper part of this dress the upper part of this gown so we're going to be starting with the front And my body's pattern is such that I have my shoulder that and my waist that already okay if you do not have this in your body's pattern work with whatever that you have it's still going to be fine some people don't have the shoulder that they only have the waist that in their pattern that is still fine but this but this um, shoulder that helps to make the bust like after you sew, the bust is actually very I don't know busty and all of that like it comes out like a real bust with this my pattern it doesn't fail me that's why I keep using this over and over again okay so the first thing we are going to do is I hope you all know by right now that this is my chest line my bust line and my true bust line this shoulder that I'm going to increase it down to my bust line so it has to be like 2 cm below this bust line my, sh my bust that line should be like 2 cm below the bust line so i'll redraw that to that point so this is what i have now for my bust that up to that point now it's like a sweetheart neckline spaghetti strap kind of neckline we are doing so first things first is i want to determine how low i want that um, spaghetti strap sweetheart neckline to be okay so i'm going to measure from the nape of my neck here down to this point this is nine inches okay so this chest line is like 
9 inches for me so I'm going to come up to about 7 inches I want the line I want that line to start from 7 inches that's the neckline of the style to start from this line then maybe it can now pop down to this for the sweetheart to the 9 inches okay so what we're going to do now is I am going to be increasing this um, that along this line because I would want the bust to be very full. I'll go here half one inch and here half inch Okay, I want it to be very very um, Defined yeah defined is the word I want it to be defined. So I'm going to take one inch towards that end and half inch towards this end That's going to be my new test line okay next thing to do is we're going to be covering this line and going in by half inch towards this point okay then here from here i'll just release from that point here up here just really down there so that's what you do for that point and here you go in okay simultaneously you make sure you extend this um, waist that to your hip line because if you do not do that if you do not create an extension and increase that that along that part you see when your um the fabric there'll be excess fabric close to when you sew it up there'll be excess fabric beside your bj that's on the body autonomy uh, on the body of the client or on yourself when you wear it you'll be seeing extra fabric poking out there so this will help cough that out remove that extra fabric that always um come there and start poking out we don't want that and since this is even like a princess dress kind of thing we just draw the line straight down except if you're not going to be doing a princess seam from the shoulder to the bottom of the dress if you just want the princess seam to stop at your half length you cut it and all this excess you remove it there okay so now that we have this we'll now come here and um create our sweet heart so you see how i put this thing so that it um curves well so your sweetheart is kind of defined yeah we're done drafting the front you see how easy it was just follow the steps and you're true in no time so this is the center front you are cutting this on fold you're going to be placing it on fold and cutting it and this is the center front okay so i'll keep this one place also before even doing all of this you actually need to have measured your dress length let's see if this will match up these lines can you see it's not matching up so you either trim or you put trim just trim it so when you match up the lines can you see this part it's not really meeting up so just trim it all these little things matter a lot so now let's see is it meeting up great okay just a little Okay, now, yeah, meeting up now. Amazing. So this is what we're going to be having for the upper bodies. Okay, and another thing is try to take your measurement to see, take your measurement from your shoulder to, um, let's say, three inches above your knee because the dress should stop three inches above your knee. Okay, take that measurement. First of all, mine is 35 inches. And I added three inches extra 
at the bottom so i made it 38 inches long so that when i am um, when i've cut sewn and everything i can now trim up the excess to get back to 35 inches okay so let me do the back quickly this is what my front is let me quickly do the back so for the back you can decide to leave it just as this that or to make a princess that again if you want to i will just leave it for this that but because the front has already been cut to like a shoulder strap spaghetti kind of thing going on there so i also have to reduce the back i'll lower it i'll cut at about eight inches for the back remember the back we took off eight inches the front we took off seven inches so when i want to make my spaghetti strap it should be about 15 to 18 inches long so that it will sit properly on the shoulder because that's the amount of um pattern paper we cut off we cut off eight inches at the back and seven inches at the front okay so if you have decided that oh you still want princess seams at the back um increase the lines so you increase the dark lines here so that it sits well on the back you increase the dark line so that it sits well when you sew it up it won't be the back is going to sit properly okay you can either do that and since me i'm not even doing that i'll just take extra i'll take the excess at the zip line so i'll take like um half inch along the zip line to take care of that excess but when i'm even sewing it up why i'm taking this half inch away is so that since i am not doing a princess seam at the back if you are going to be doing a princess seam at the back then you don't need to do this you just increase this dart here don't make it just a straight line either make it let it not be more than one inch half to one inches so that it's snug and flat on the back and it's not like this it's not poking out like this at the back okay but since I'm not going to be doing princess seams at the back, I'll just do this normal waist that then for it to be snug, I have to remove the extra that is going to let it not lay flat. I'll remove that extra along the zip line. But when I'm fixing the zip, I'll still use one inch to fix the zip. Regardless, I'll still use my one inch. So now it's going to sit properly at the back. Yeah, so we can go ahead to cut it on our fabric sew it up then we'll now go ahead to do the bottom part of the dress in our next video This is the side this is the side panel for the front and this is the waistline for the front that half length so I'm going to go up to about let's say um, three inches up it's gonna stop here up and come down to maybe about five inches that would be like the cutout and how wide do I want the cutout maybe just two inches So I'm going to draw that line, connect those um, points together. So this will be the cutout. If you want it more than that, please feel free to. This will be the cutout where you can put nude mesh, put nude skin undertone lining there, and it's going to give you this kind of style design. So let's do three and five. If you want it wider or longer, 
yeah so this this is not getting to my hip it's just before the rise of my hip about two or three inches away from my hip and um about two inches below my about one inch below my bust line you can actually make it wider to maybe three inches but this one is fine this one will be cut on two so that you can put it back there when you're sewing okay so let me put up and down so that i know i know what it is okay so this one you are cutting two uh I'm cutting two of that so let me keep this So now guys, I have all the pieces for my upper part of this dress. I'm going to quickly make it up. I'll first of all go and iron and wadding on this front part. Uh -huh. I'll iron wadding just to the waistline on this front part. Okay. And on the sides as well, I'll iron wadding there and we'll come in to start joining all these things up quickly so let me iron my wedding and i'll be right back all right guys so i have sewn the pieces together can you see my bust, how um, protruded it is? And it was just wadding I put in there. No cups, nothing, but see how it's standing firm. You can go ahead to do another row of stitch to top stitch it, but what I'm gonna do is just iron it well. Now, this cutout that we have here on this end, I'll be taking the lace, I double that lace there. So I'll be taking the lace, I cut four pieces all together doubling the lace there so i'm going to be attaching it there to form that style design um i'll put the corner first then pin this one up and pin the other one down remember that while we were cutting we already put half inch sewing allowance so we are good when we sew this one then we'll sew this one as well so that it's going to be that way there okay so you can use a nude mesh for that part so it's going to be like your skin use a nude mesh and a nude lining under but I'll just use black okay so when I pin it and open it, it's going to relax properly there and sew it up. After I sew it up, I'll now take it to my ironing board and iron all the seams open. Iron both the lining because I've sewn everything up. I've sewn the back. I'll put the zip. After putting this, I'll put the zip for the back. 
and also for the back i decided not to start from there i just went up about quarter inch i just saw like quarter inch to that waist that way it ends for both of them i'll insert the zip real soon also the strip for the um shoulder strap just measure how wide you want it to be so i'll put it right sides together because you're cutting two one for the left and for the right remember we said it shouldn't be more than 16 inches and this is 16 and a half inches so it's just perfect for us so i'll just fold it again and cut it off so that i'll be able to flip it so the right side goes then flip it inside out now let's trim it so i'll be sewing it this way I'll sew it prime so that I can flip it inside out for the left and for the right. So let's quickly do all of this, iron all of it, then I'll show you how I'll join the bodies together. wait wait just take a minute to look at this look at this booby here okay so i'm sure you can see this and you're wondering that ah, where did this booby come from Ooh, yeah can you see no cups just my wording that is the effect of my basic body pattern better sign up for the course send a message to the whatsapp number below and just tell me where you want me to help you out it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one online class and in no time girl you'll be flying okay so i have this already and you can see that netting by the side giving it that um, peekaboo style okay so we're going to take the straps first of all i remember that this kind of sewing i do is enclosed all so you're seeing the sewing and you're like please where is the stitch in this clothes you can wear both front and back when i finish when we finish this you can wear both inside and out so you can either put the straps like um at the middle of this second this panel here you put it in the middle here like so so i'll just pin it down there so that i'll sew it there so that strap before attaching the lining this is a very tiny one and here as well for my second strap yeah so like about half to two thirds try to mark measure out so that it's going to be symmetric where this one is and where this one is it should be about the same line so that will be the straps for this dress and this is everything and you see that I've attached my zip you can see my one inch allowance okay so this is my one inch allowance for the zip iron it properly iron the dots well now I'm going to place it armhole to armhole like so okay and I'll pin it down by the armhole like so okay so let's pin it and you'll be sewing it along your one inch seam allowance or better still you can take your measurement again so that you are cock sure you're very sure by the time you're done sewing it's going to fit whoever you're making the dress for your client yourself whoever you know You can put it this way too for the back but let your back be along this um that line here okay let the back strap be along that that line 
when you're sewing it so take the line let it be straight then put it along that that line as well that um princess that or that line just let the strap be along that line so you're sewing the straps for the back down the straps for the front down and you're sewing one inch right down or take your seam allowance and sew that inch whatever seam allowance you have right to the bottom of this dress let me show you the lining already ironed to as well also can you can you see this lining bust can you see the bust nothing there but this bust is like you can even wear it like this like a bralette can you see the bust showing beautifully see see beautifully okay so you know what to do let me not talk too much take your lining this is the front open it up wide take the back let that right side face right side pin it along the armhole with your seam allowance okay mine is one inch just pin it down 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 then you take the other one so you can see that the back i didn't sew this one closed don't worry that, that's my own trick of making a neatly finished garment you'll learn all of this in the one to one class when you sign up that's if you if you are serious about this thing though and trust me i'll be on your neck you have to submit your assignment whatever you have learned you have to practice that's the only way you learn that's the only way you will learn and we'll have discussions every now and then every now and then okay so here and there let's sew this up and uh, be done in a minute all right guys so i have just finished making the dress after sewing it i had to wait whenever you're making a dress for either yourself or for your client always fit it on the mannequin so that you see what is happening what you need to touch upon there should always be a fitting so now i've worn it and i can see that the straps number one are loose that's why we calculated how many inches we cut off so I still need to hold like one and a half inch more so that it's going to be fitted. You see that? Now this excess that we put, knowing that it is actually a spaghetti dress we're making, we need to remove that one and a half inch back because it was actually a spaghetti dress. So you see it's better now. I'm showing you all of these things. Now you see here, you need to hold it more like half, half here so that um, just hold it just to this point here i hope you can see that just hold it from here to that point hold it to, to that point same thing here this one flapping you cut it off so it's sitting well and the strap to make sure it's the same make sure it's the same length but every other thing is fine you can see that peekaboo the peekaboo is there you can see the back no poking everything is sitting fine yeah so what we're working on is cutting off this one and a half inch extra we put um tightening up this strap and holding one inch here just to a little before the nipple point okay so all this will tighten it and make it look beautiful so let's fix this up before we now attach our lining and finish up the upper part of this dress 
so guys we'll quickly make the alterations here um, this like one and a half inch I've moved this in I remember that guests would have seven inch in the front that we removed and eight inch at the back that we removed but that shoulder always has a slope it slopes down so that is why that 15 inch needed to be reduced by maybe one or one and a half inch because of the shoulder slope okay so that will be that then for this one i'll put both together and just trim off i'll trim off the um squarish part so do the same for the lining to trim off that part so that it goes seamlessly that way okay then the other alteration will be to hold and do for the other side from there so it did okay and yeah i think that's about it you can decide to go ahead to pencil this down a little more pencil it a little more so that it is properly fitted now just trim off the excess there Okay, so everything is already adding up. Let's quickly do all the alterations and we'll start fixing the back and front together. So I'll just take my lining piece. Remember our lining piece front and back has already been sewn together. No need for strap on this. So you take this lining on the front side and match it up to this front side here i hope we can see that pin it along the neckline because we are going to be attaching it now to the um sewing everything closed so pin it along the neckline along that um sweetheart along this part to pin everything down then next thing you do is this part here okay you place this on it so that when you flip it inside out this one is out here so you pin it there too you are also going to be sewing the armhole close to get a very clean finish so pin it along the armhole as well match up the armhole seams and pin it up there So here as well, let make sure that this um, strap is inside the fabric, pin it up from that zip allowance to this point here, let that, um, let this seam match up, that's the dark line, let it match up, pin it up there, pin it up here. Okay, and here too as well, let's pin it. So when you're sewing, you're sewing here, you're sewing this armhole, you're coming to sew the front. Then you, once you're done, you sew this um, zip allowance to where it stops on the main fabric. Then you take this two um, lining piece, and sew it up as how just replicate what you have on here you'll see it as i go along Okay guys, so this is what the dress is looking like now. You see, you can wear this alone. This is amazing. You can top stitch or even give it an under stitch here so that um, the lining isn't poking out. And um, yeah, since we're gonna be joining a bottom part to this, we'll just hold it in place. 
let me turn it inside out so you see what the inside is looking like can you see that though i did not use a whipping machine to whip any of the inside but you can hardly tell because everything is clean and beautiful this is what i'm going to be teaching you in the one-on-one -on -one class until you get it like now a good price and everything is relaxing properly you can see how the front two is as well without cups you see this you can even make this and sell this just beat it or stone it and sell it as a um a simple a simple um dress okay without the whole paparazzi at the bottom so i'll do an under stitch or you can even do a top stitch Okay, so I have done the under stitching if you can see it clearly all right guys so this is the result of our um, upper part of this body's project everything sitting pretty and nice see no puckering here that thing I told you about that's why I have a big tummy no puckering you can see everything relaxed beautiful the armhole sitting pretty the back sitting pretty as well yeah and the dress is three inches above my knee as well so the other part will be for the style design or the bottom um, ruffle design for this style for this project so this is the end of the tutorial and of course you've seen the inside lush and luxurious so if you want to see how the bottom part was being made, please just look out for that video, turn on your post notification, remember reception dress, check, wedding gown, check, evening dress, check, party, check, lovely, alright? Yes guys, so thank you so much for watching, until we see you in our next tutorial, stay safe, God bless you, bye!